You said that one can untie the knots with life by oneself or with your help. How does one go about to achieve that? First of all, why are you so knotted up? Why are you knotting yourself up? After all, you just have only one thread of life. This one thread, why are you making it all knotted up? See, the two ends of life are fixed. If you see this life as a thread, the two ends of it are fixed – birth and death. Tell me, how do you knot up a thread which is fixed at two ends? You must be real veteran, some kind of a specialist in knotting <laughs> If uh, the ends of the thread are not fixed, then you can knot it up. If the two ends of the thread are fixed, how do you knot it up? <laughs> when you're such an expert in knotting, what to do? It's very, very hard to knot it up when both the ends of the thread are fixed. Is it fixed? Is it fixed or no? In birth and in death it's fixed, isn't it? So how do you knot this? It may not even be knotted. Life is not knotted. It is just that uh, because of such terrible sense of insecurity within you, a terrible volume of calculation has risen in your mind. Because of these calculations, it looks all knotted up. No, 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 but what about my karma? Karma is also the same nonsense. It can all be straightened out in a moment if you're willing. Because both the ends are fixed. You're born one day, you'll die one day. The in-between few days, what's the big deal? If you live here with a certain sense of abandon, anyway, the thread is fixed to death, there is no chance of disentangling it from there and putting it somewhere else. Anyway, that's how life will go. So what is there? Just living totally, that's all there is, as intensely as possible. If this intensity has come, has to come, if you realize that the ends are fixed, only this in between few days you have to handle and all your ideas of gaining and losing or just silly nonsense in your head, if you understand this, you will ease, you will just ease off. When you come to utter ease, people have always understood ease as lethargy. Now, only one who is at ease is capable of intense activity because rest is the basis of activity. One who is constantly resting within himself is capable of endless activity. One who rests at certain times and acts at certain other times is always getting tired of activity. So I am talking about ease, 
not as lethargy. I am talking about ease as life is. Life is at ease, only the mind is at some tension. The tension has come because mind is disaligned with life. You're trying to build your own creation and hold it up, which doesn't exist. You're unwilling to live in the creator's creation. You're making up your own creation and trying to hold it up all the time. Oh, that is… that is true torture. Trying to create all kinds of fake things and constantly hold it up. I think we should give you an exercise. I don't want to dent the vessels in the kitchen, otherwise I would have asked them to get the tumblers or vessels. Try to hold twenty-five vessels in your hand and keep it up and walk and see what happens to you. And especially if the vessels are not real, You have to create it and hold it up, not let it fall. When it falls and shatters, you have to cry, you have to suffer. When you have to keep the whole drama up from nothing, that's stress, <laughs> that's real stress. And that's what you're doing. The knots are made up. Unknotting is also made up. When we say meditate, we told you, shut all that nonsense and simply sit. Stop the act for some time at least. Even there you want to unknot it in your meditation and you want me also in partnership <laughs> doing that silly act. <laughs> Yesterday was India's budget so, I thought, let me see what's happening to the budget, have they given any tax relief for yoga <laughs> So I turn on the television, want to see what's happening to the Indian budget and uh, when I turned it on, there was an advertisement. It's called uh, Babalu or something, the product is called Babalu. This Babalu is a liquid gum, chewing gum. Okay? Like chewing gum, you chew for your teeth to be clean and to smell good, whatever. It's in liquid form, it's called babaloo and you can blow it into big bubbles. So this babaloo ad is uh, an animation and this cartoon character comes and uh, instead of squeezing the liquid into the mouth, squeezes onto the mirror, chk, and it just drops off the mirror, again squeezes onto the mirror. Looking at the mirror, he squeezes into his mouth in the mirror and it just falls off. Then he realizes he gets it and puts it inside and then big bubbles come out and whatever. That's the ad. I was just thinking, the whole world is just this. <laughs> if you try to feed the image in the mirror, if you try to, you know, talk to the image in the mirror. If you try to do whatever with that image in the mirror, it's just such a waste of time. And especially if it's a distorted m mirror, <laughs> it's one big nonsense. That's all that's happening right now. Whatever is happening in the image of your mind, in the mirror of your mind, all kinds of images you generate and you play with it endlessly. Because somewhere you never got interested in the creator's creation. Somewhere you are so horribly egoistic that you believe that you will create one day something bigger than the creation something more interesting than the creation. And that's your pain, that's your loss, 
that's your knot. If you don't suffer, life will not be good, you must suffer, you know. One who manages to ignore a creation of this magnitude and magnificence, if he doesn't suffer, what is the point of life? They must suffer. Your suffering is not happening because of anything. You are not, hap not happening because of anything, just because you are too involved with your own creation. You have no eyes for the Creator's creation, there is no other reason. And don't you ask for my partnership in the business. <laughs> I am not a game for that. That's your nonsensical business. My business is something else, my business is with the Creator's creation. For me this is good enough. This is not just good enough, it's too good. I am not busy making up my own creation. I think it's silly generating anything in this head, so I don't do anything. My brain, brains can be sold because they are unused. They are not working over time and worn out, they are just unused. I just use it very sparsely, just when it's needed, that's all, fresh. <laughs> brand new, you know, old model but brand new <laughs> So you and your knots, there are no knots because both ends of the thread are fixed. How can it be knotted? If one end was left loose, it could be knotted. Both ends are fixed, no knotting possibility.